now just the second finished fitting those minuscule brake lights uh, as jobs go it, it actually wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it might be which is always a pleasant surprise Just uh, see if I can zoom in and see what we've got. Bear with me. That's what we have. So they come on automatically for a period every time you stop in either direction. Uh, this seems to be working fine. Um, this is wired with uh, the LEDs in parallel and uh, those LEDs are then in series with two resistors. One resistor is uh, a 1K ohm resistor and that is in series again with uh, what is it? A, a 270 ohm resistor. And that gives that fairly pleasing If anything, it's a little bit too bright. But they are beautiful size-wise, absolutely beautiful. So now, this particular beastie is just waiting on the correct size uh, the correct size battery to be fitted uh, and uh, when that is done I shall also make a pair of uh, mirrors for it and fit those but I shan't fit those mirrors until the last thing because they'll be a little bit delicate You can see on the side there um, the resistors there. Those will be neatly glued against the side of the chassis and painted black so they actually won't be in any way obtrusive. Um, vehicles like this have uh, air tanks uh, for braking. I forget whether the Bedford TKs were air braked or air over hydraulic at this period. Um, possibly full air. I uh, used to have a, uh, a Bedford uh, Dupal coach in years gone by. That was a, a 67 coach and that actually had air over hydraulic braking. Um, but the TK, I really can't remember. Certainly the slightly later TKs were full air. But anyway, that's very successful. Um, and that's the, uh, that's the nub of it. So, the other one when it gets that far will have, uh, the LEDs, brake LEDs fitted as well. There we go.